With the brain removed, we can see the spaces that the ventricles occupy as shown in this model. On each side, we have the lateral ventricles. Then if we turn this to get a lateral view, we can see the third ventricle here. The hole in the third ventricle is where the interthalamic adhesion is. And then from the third ventricle to the fourth ventricle, we have the cerebral aqueduct, which runs through the midbrain. And that brings us to the fourth ventricle. Cerebral spinal fluid circulates down the middle of the central canal of the spinal cord. You'll also notice that there are some pink areas that can be seen on the model. in each ventricle, and this is where the choroid plexus is. The choroid plexus makes and circulates cerebral spinal fluid. It makes about half a liter a day, and it is circulated throughout the ventricles and in the subarachnoid space. Access cerebral spinal fluid is drained through the arachnoid villi into the dural venous sinus. Brain, brain.